Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Easy Math. So this video is about solving this uh, given exponential equation 5 to the power y minus 5 minus 5 to the power x minus 5 equals 500 and we're going to find the value of y and x. So in this video we'll be solving this uh, exponential equation in three ways and would we'll yield three different sets of answers. The first two, uh, first two ways is uh, by using the laws of uh, exponent and to get the values uh, we'll be using the logarithm and then the third uh, way of solving the values of x and y will be by investigation method and then uh, for, each, for each way of solving it we, we got a chance to check our answers. And uh, before we start, for those new to my channel Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I would appreciate it. Now let's start solving the problem. Here, based on the equation, y must be greater than x and uh, y minus x must be greater than zero. Now I have just written the whole equation. Five to the power y minus five minus five raised to the power x minus five equals 500. And the uh, first way is simplify the equation, the left side of the equation. So this is now 5 raised to the y power times 5 raised to the power of negative 5 minus 5 raised to the power of x times uh, 5 raised to the power of negative 5 equals 500. Simplify the equation further, it will become, this will become 5 power y divided by 5 raised to the power 5 minus 5 power x divided by 5 to the power 5 equals 500. Simplify the equation further. Get rid of the denominator 5 to the power 5. So we'll be multiplying the whole equation by 5 to the power 5. All right, so the equation now becomes 5 to the power y minus 5 to the power x equals 500 times 5 to the power 5. And from here, we introduce another variable to substitute uh, the, uh, the value of y in terms of x. Since the condition says here y is greater than x, so represent y in terms of x, let, uh, let y be x plus a constant a added to x to make the value of y. A to make the value of y. Alright, so let's substitute this value of y on here. So this equation now becomes... 5 raised to x plus a minus 5 raised to x equals 500 times 5 to the power 5. And here we simplify the equation 5 raised to power x times 5 power a minus 5 raised to power x equals 500 times 5 to the power 5. From here, factoring out 5 power x. Okay, 5 equals 500 times 5 to the power of 5. So from here, we're equating this uh, 5 to the power x to the 5 to the power 5. Why we're doing that? Because uh, we consider this an odd odd number, this odd number, and this is even, this even number. This is even also, 500 is even. So these are odd. So we're equating these both together. All right, so let's do that. So the equation now is uh, five to the power x equals five to the power five. In the right side of the equation is five to the power a minus one, equating to 500. Left side, since they have both, both the same base, therefore x is equal to five. And in here, 5 to the power a equals 500 plus 1. Simplify the equation further. It's 5 to the power a is equals to 501. Then log of 5 power a equals log of 501. From here, the value of a now is a is equals log of 501 divided by log of 5. And from here, value of y is uh, 
x plus a, so we substitute these values, we get a value of y from y equals x plus a. So y therefore is 5 plus log of 5 over 1, divided by log of 5. Simplify this further by using our calculator. This is now y equals plus 8.862594 value of y. So we have now the value of y and the value of x is 5. So substitute this to the original equation. So check our answer. We in here to check our answer, I have just written the original equation and then uh, replace the exponent y and x to their uh, respective values where y is uh, here 8.86594 and the value of x is 5 so that is 5 minus 5 equals 500 by using our calculator we solve this uh, left term this is uh, this is now 500.99 minus 5 raised to the 5 minus 5 this is 0 so 5 raised to 0 and is equals to 500 the equation now becomes 500.999 5 to 0 is 1 is that equal to is that equal to 500 so here is now 500.99 minus 1 is 499.99 it's approximately equal to 500 so this just confirms that those values are correct y 8.862594 x is equal to 5 and now let's let's use let's do the second solution if you notice from earlier we equated those odd equivalents on from the left to the right side of the equation. This is considered odd and equated to the odd part, the right side, same way on the even to even. So one to one equation. So now since we use this odd to odd, now we do odd to even. So alternate. So we do that. So equate this odd to even counterpart and then even to the odd. All right, so let's do that. From here, if you notice, I have just written again this part of the equation. And uh, it is here now equating this uh, odd to even. And this even to odd. All right, so I have written this two, two equations. All right, also on the left side, 5 to the power x is equal to 500. We're using a logarithm. So this is now log of... 5 to the power x equals to log of 500 and x now is log of 500 but by log of 5 the right side of the equation the, right, the other equation I should say is simplified to 5 to the power a equals 5 to the power 5 plus 1 and lo using the logarithm again log of 5 to the power a equals log of 5 to the power 5 plus 1 a is equal to log of 5 power 5 plus 1 by log of 5 now from here we'll be substituting those values of x and a to the equation y equals x plus a so substitute those values y now becomes x is log of 500 divided by log of 5 plus a is log of 5 to the power 5 plus 1 divided by log of 5 and uh, by using our calculator the value of y now is y equal to 8.5 eight six fifteen fifty one and the value of x using our calculator log of five hundred but by log of five is three point eight 
1353. So these are the values. So comparing this uh, set of values from the first solution, this is completely different. We'll see that where the values of y and x is x is 5, y is 8.86. It's about the same as the value over here in the second solution, 8.86. 1551 over here and this here is uh, 2594 it's a little kind of different but uh, x compared to the other one is totally different and now we have to check our answer now to check our answer I have just written the original equation and here substituted the value of y and x and is this equal to 500 so now by using our calculator the value of this left side of the equation 5 raised to 8.861551 minus 5 and is now that is 500.159266 and minus the other side 5 raised to 3.861353 minus 5 is 0.15 99992456 and this question mark right here is this equal to 500 so once again by using our calculator subtracting these two values over here 500.159266 minus 0.159099 this is now 499.99 99 is approximately equal to 500 so they just this just confirmed the y values and x values are correct all right now let's do the third uh, third way of solving this uh, equation in this method we'll be using uh, direct investigation of the terms of the equation so first let's focus on the right side of the equation this constant 500 this 500 is the same as uh, 625 minus 125 and 625 could be written the same way as 5 raised to the fourth power and this 125 is 5 cubed so the equation now becomes 5 raised to y minus 5 minus 5 raised to x minus 5 equals 5 to the power of 4 minus 5 to the power of 3. Now since the whole equation have the same base, if you notice the first term the left side of the equation is uh, equivalent to the first term the right side of the equation that is now 5 raised to y minus 5 equals 5 to the fourth power. So this simply means therefore that y minus 5 equals 4 and the other and the other side this one right here, the same base, so 5 cubed. So it is now 5 raised to the x minus 5, because that is 5 to the third power. And therefore, equating this at uh, the same base, we have uh, to equate the exponent the same way x minus 5 equals 3. And simplifying this uh, equation right here, y becomes. 4 plus 5 equals 9. So therefore y is equal to 9. So in here simplifying this equation, x is equal to 3 plus 5 equals 8. So then therefore x is equal to 8. So we have these two values, x is 8 and y is 9. Right. And to check our answer, substitute the value of x and y to the original equation, which I have just written over here. 5 raised to 9 minus 5 where y is 9 and x is 8 5 raised to 8 minus 5 so is that uh, the question mark right there is that equal to 500 so simplified exponent this becomes now 5 raised to the fourth power 9 minus 5 is 4 minus 5 raised to 8 minus 5 is 3 so is this equal to 500 since 500 is uh, equivalent to this value so 5 to the fourth power minus five to the third power. So this is this just simply means that 
that is 5 to the 4th minus 5 to the 3rd power that's the same as 500 so it is just the same so this just confirms the value of y and x are correct y is 9 x is 8 so we have just found our answers three sets of solutions with three sets of different answers right over here y is uh, 8.862594 x is 5 second solution is about the same in the value of y but x is somewhat different 5 over here 3.8 right there and the third one investigation method we found this y is 9 x is 8 all right and so that's all for now and for those new to my channel please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos i would appreciate it thank you for watching you have a great day everyone i will see you in the next videos bye